Okay. Welcome to my spooky stream. I'm going to be playing Outlast. Um, I've seen someone play a bit of this. Uh, I thought I hadn't at first, so I thought it was a blind playthrough. Unfortunately, it's not. However, I'm still a really scaredy scaredy cat, so this is going to be terrible for me. Uh, easy, please. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are miles up short, an investigative reporter whose main mission is about to earn him an in intimate tour of the hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging in the stories, no other journalists will dare and investigate. You will seek out the Dark Cedar at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Nothing scarier than narrative before you start playing. <laughs> Written narrative. Game's a bit loud. Oh. One oh seven point nine. Isn't that higher than FM goes? I'm almost out of gas. And my engine's running a little hot. Oh no, it's scary. Glowing briefcase at mutemail.com. Oh, there's a Gmail one. Illegal activity murder. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software console at Merkov Psychiatric Systems Facility in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs, and I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about the dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Merkov is making money. It needs to be exposed. No, I... There we go. Dumb. My glowing batteries. Radioactive batteries. Okay, so it's like running through the features of the camera for me. Don't do that. Don't make loud noises. Let me out. Notes. Documents. Oh, that's really sensitive. I'm not usually a joystick person when it comes to FPS, so maybe... This will be a li little more difficult than, uh... Why, why do I have issues going in here? Okay. I want to boop the button. Oh man, this is too sensitive. Now it's too slow. The problem is it goes to like max speed about halfway on the joystick. I think I could fix this. Um, controller configuration. Joystick. Additional settings. Instead of a linear 
I'll do like an extra wide. Near dead zone. Wait, no, that's not the one I want extra wide. This is the one. Okay, that should be better. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, now I can turn that back up. Yep, that's better. I'm gonna steal this Windows key. Did I just waste a battery? <laughs> Is that the breathe button? Ah, here we go. I don't for now. Look at that chromatic aberration. Oh, that's such an inconvenient button to have to run. What's Titan B? Is this diabetes? Hepatitis? Use tunnel night vision. Reload batteries. Use. This one makes the least nonsense. Okay. Time to relearn my controls. Oh, and you have to hold it down? There's no toggle run? Uh... Why is that so loud? Alright, 
Forget it, I'll just get used to the other way. Massive. Look at this mountain, it's massive. We'll name it Mount Massive. Hello? Knock knock. The pizza's here. If I stare at this long enough, will something spook me? What if I breathe at it? Floating artifact. That's the real spooky stuff right there. Oh, this this motion when he walks is so kind of sickening. Like I'm not even one that gets motion sickness in games, but damn. Oh god, that's horrible. I'm getting a little sick. Oh, this is better. No swaying. I'm getting my socks all wet. It's gonna be miserable for the rest of the night. I can't jump over a bush. Alright. Fine. I don't like that music. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> Can I jump off? This music is unsettling. Would the person with the violin please cut it out? Of course.
I knew it. Yoink. There, I'm done. <laughs> God, why do you have to slam it closed? So you can creepily hold it open or open it, but you can't just quietly close it. That's annoying. I don't like this. I don't like this. This game's gonna give me nightmares. I wanna play this. <laughs> Just hide in here. Alright, I'm good. I'm done. I beat it. Password is boobies. Wait, what? This keyboard is missing keys. What the hell? It's missing a lot of keys. Why is it missing so many keys? That's the true horror right here. That's really unsettling. They're gonna really run up the phone rate like that. of psychiatric systems. Patient WPH Billy. Initial data page uh, age 19 male Houston. Uh, patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine. Activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge available. Again failed to separate Erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the statue of his mother's lawsuit. The stat status. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Ver Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. No, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Project Wallrider, Massive, Mount Massive Co. Boop, 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 boop. Can I hang up the phone?
Hey, I gotta use the bathroom. I wanna use the bathroom. Like this. Oh, is that the guy in the bathroom? What happens if I go back down there? Will he eat me? Nope, he locked the door on me. What a jerk. I know what happens. I would just like to say I now have to change my pants. What up, dude? Help him down. You got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. Put security in control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. I am sincere when I say I don't want to play this anymore.
Okay. Let me just set this up. to help you flush. Santa, come save me. Boy, I'd sure like to be out there right now. Sort of feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff. Wait, how would you know it was more jammer than lost signal? The Murkoff Corporation has a long track of track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. 
might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead. Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say, Murkoff Advanced Research System. Mars. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. What an asshole. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. guy has some derpy eyes. Oh. Droopy eye. He has no ice. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with the patient's reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints followed following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal er eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with the Tuatara lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Tending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. He, his, his predominant fixation amplified by therapy is manic exaggeration of military security protocol. The continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. I'm blocking your vision. No boogers. What's this guy doing? No, you have no hands. Another phone off the hook.
Was that room A112? A115. A114. Huh. Be disappointed in me, but this game's too spooky for me. I'm a scaredy cat. I don't want to play this anymore. of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Okay. I think I'm gonna <laughs> take a break here. Because I'm too much of a freaking chicken to play this. <laughs> 